Alright yo, it's Def King here, back with a brand new video, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about module scripts. Now, this is probably going to be kind of a short tutorial, because it's pretty simple, but um, I've actually been re gotten requests, someone saying like, oh, what are module scripts, and make a tutorial about them, so I figured I will. Now, um, module scripts, I won't lie, you probably won't be using them anytime soon, um, and you might not ever need to use them, but they are important sometimes. Some people do use them, so it's important to know like how they work and what they are. And um, yeah. So anyways, let's let's get right into the video and uh, let's explain module scripts. Okay. All right. So first things first. If you um, have never watched a Roblox scripting tutorial before, you should definitely go watch my beginner series first because you're going to be very confused. But for everyone else, um, you should be good. Okay. All right. So first things first. We want to go ahead and insert a. Um, module script actually you know what first I'm actually gonna explain dictionaries just to clear that up first so first of all um, go ahead and insert a script into the server script service okay so this is a normal script not a module script we'll do that a little bit later alright so I'm first gonna demonstrate to you what a dictionary is because I'm not sure if I explained that before or if I haven't explained that but in case I haven't I'll explain it again I guess so uh, here we go alright so what is a dictionary now um, if you guys know this um, a, you know, in real life, a dictionary is like um, a bunch of words and then the definition of them, right? So you can find words and then you know what they mean. So um, that's what a dictionary is in real life. People don't really use dictionaries much anymore because you can just Google the word, but I guess dictionaries are st still important. But anyways, um, that's basically what a dictionary is in Roblox too. A dictionary is you have a key, okay, and then your key equals your value. Okay, so, or not your key equals value, yeah, you're, you have a key, and then it's equal to a value, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and write a dictionary out. It's a form of a table, so you, you've probably seen tables before, actually, you have, um, but that's what a dictionary is. So let me go ahead and write one out. So um, local, uh, we're going to name it my first dictionary, okay? And uh, it's actually kind of a hard word to spell. I'm not sure if I spelled that right or not. But anyways, um, um, local my first dictionary equals, and then you're gonna put these little squiggly brackets, right? So braces, I think they're called. And then we're gonna hit enter. Now we're not gonna put it on the same line here. Like we could do that like that, and then write it here. But there's really no point because it looks a lot nicer here like this. So yeah, so keep it like this. All right, so now my first dictionary. So the first thing we need to do when we make a dictionary is obviously you know write out the syntax for it. So this is our dictionary. And then we need to actually assign some keys and some values to it, okay? So what we're gonna do is this is gonna be a dictionary about food, okay? And the food is gonna describe like, no, yeah, the food is going or actually, the, the value for the food is going to be like what it is, okay? So first things first, we're going to do, um, let's do cheese, okay? And then we're going to just type cheese, that's it, right? Like it's a variable. And then we're going to do equals, and then we're going to make a string here, and we're going to call it, um, it comes from cows, okay? So <laughs> that is our first value of our dictionary, or our first key for dictionary, it's cheese, okay? So yeah, that, that's it. Okay, so next we end up, we're gonna do another one, okay? We're going to do another value or another key, and then we're gonna name it bread, okay? So like we're making a sandwich or something, okay? Equals, um, it tastes very good and comes from uh, grain, I think. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so then we got bread and cheese, all right? You know, that's all we need. So these are two values for our dictionary. And make sure you put a comma in between at the end of the line. Uh, for the last one, you don't need to because it's the last value. Um, but you know, for your dictionary, whenever you have two values, you need to put a value or you need to put a comma between it. So yeah. So now uh, you're probably wondering, okay, well, why don't you just make it like okay, like cheese right here, right? I have the cheese variable or like the cheese value, and it's just a string that says it comes from cows. Now, I, what I really could do is I could just make this a uh, uh, like um, a a variable, right? I could I could just name it local cheese equals it comes from cows. Oh, well, that's my bad. Um, but yeah, so that, that could work too, right? And then I could just print cheese. But sometimes you want to use tables for certain things. Now, I can't really think of a good example right now, but one day you're probably going to need it. So that's why I'm teaching it to you. But yeah, that, that's what it is, okay? So now, with our table, or with our dictionary, what we can do is actually access the values. So what we want to do is we're going to actually print cheese, okay? out of our table or out of our dictionary, okay? So we're gonna print the value of cheese. So we're gonna do 
um, print my first dictionary dot cheese okay so it's like it's like you're making like a thing in the Explorer right so it's like you're having workspace dot cheese but it's not workspace right so it's it's kind of cool actually so there we go so now if we do print my first dictionary dot cheese it's gonna print it comes from cows right as you can see there that's the letter prints okay so that's pretty cool I guess it, it it works so now also you can actually put any kind of variable inside or any kind of like value inside a um, inside of a dictionary so it could, it could be a number so it could be an int right or integer so you can do bread equals three so I can print bread and obviously bread isn't equal to three but um you know if, if you did make it three then that's what it is right it's gonna print three and also you can make another table or another dictionary inside of a dictionary okay so that's what we're gonna do okay it's a little confusing but just stick with me okay so what we're gonna do actually is delete this actually we'll keep cheese I guess um, and then we're gonna make sandwich uh, yeah okay all right so let, actually let's get rid of cheese all right so we're, we're putting a table inside of a table and we're gonna call it or a, a, we're gonna put a table inside of a dictionary right and then call it sandwich so there we go we're gonna do that okay and then we're going to put a value okay so first thing for our value our first value for a sandwich is bread okay bread bread equals um, two things you put on top and bottom of sandwich okay so there you go so now we have bread okay and it's the same way it works in uh, as a regular table but you know it's inside of another table okay so that's how it is so now if you want to print sandwich or you want to print bread right it's actually I'm not sure what happened if you print sandwich I don't think anything would happen I might, it might give you an error so but what you would do is obviously get your dictionary so you do print my first dictionary dot sandwich dot bread okay and now when you print it it's gonna give you two things you put on top of the bottom of the sandwich okay so that's what it is and now actually I'm kinda of curious what happens if you do dot sandwich I don't know what happened if you print that I think it might give you an error okay so yeah that's what it gives you um, yeah you probably don't want that okay <laughs> that's like the where it's stored in the memory so don't really worry about that that's just something you don't really need to know so yeah okay anyways don't don't print just sandwich because there's no actual value it's a table and you can't print a table but what you could do is do um, this like how you do regular tables like you can put that little thing right there but actually it's not working so never mind all right. Anyways, so now that's basically what module scripts are. Module scripts are huge tables. Now this is honestly kind of a tutorial about dictionaries. I probably should title it that, but it's also module scripts. So now I'm going to show you how to use a module script. Okay. So now that you know how dictionaries work, yeah, that you're good. All right. So we're going to delete all that stuff, and then we're going to go ahead and insert a script or a module script into our server storage. And now also people have been asking me what are these things like what what is server script serviced what is server storage what is starter GUI what is all these things right here right well these are all services in Roblox well not not all of them workspace is you know the workspace where you can see stuff um, players is like I guess players is a service yeah but basically it's a service okay and now what each of them do you can look up. Um, but replicated storage is where you can store stuff, and then you can also get like like replicated storage, right? Like whatever you're in a game, the client so the player can read this, whatever's in here, and then also the server can. Now the server storage, the player can't see that when the game's running, right? But the but the server can. So and the server script serviced, I'm not sure actually, but I'm pretty sure that that the player can't see that either. So we actually no, no the player can't. And then obviously other things are different, but yeah, they're all services pretty much. Okay, that's what they are. And now they all have their own uses. Uh, replicated first is like replicated storage, but it replicates first, so it's a little weird. I don't really know why they have that even there, but they do. So yeah, anyways, that's besides the point. Module scripts. Okay, module scripts. Now go ahead and insert your module scripts and go ahead and insert your module script into server storage. Okay, and now we have this. Okay, when you insert a module script, you automatically get this syntax right here. It says local module equals squiggly lines, and then it returns the module. Now, the reason why it has this, okay, this is a table, and anything you write inside a module script goes right here. Okay, it goes right here. You don't write it here, okay? You don't you don't write it here, okay? It goes in the table, all right? And then what it does is it returns the table to um, something else that requires it, okay? Now I'll go over that in a second, but first things first, we're going to write our module. All right, so we're gonna um, our module. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be about um, um, different color, different 
colored dogs, okay? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, all right. So what we're gonna do for our first value, we're going to name name it like, actually we'll do different types of dogs, okay? So we'll do, first things first, we'll do like a German Shepherd. Okay, you know what, actually this is so confusing. What am I doing? We'll do animals, I mean, like animals, okay? So we're gonna do dogs, okay, that's gonna be our first animal, equals cute four-legged uh, legged animals that love you. Okay, there we go. That that's dogs. Okay, cats. Okay, equals um, mean four-legged <laughs> animals that want to kill you. I'm kidding. Okay, I know some of you. Some of you probably have cats, and um, some of you like cats. I don't. I don't really mean that, but maybe, maybe they do sometimes. Okay, I don't know, but. Um, I don't have any cats. I used to have a dog, but not anymore, unfortunately. He's not dead, but we had to give him back to its owner, so yeah. Anyways, um, the point is, these. this is a table, okay? So we have this. This is our module, right? And then we have our... This is animals, okay? So we're going to put a comment here, and we're going to say animals. Okay, that's what our module is about. I would rename this, but I don't want to confuse you guys, so I'll leave it how it is. So this is animals, okay? So now we have our module script. Now we're going to go back to our script, and then we're going to require it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're going to just, we're gonna basically get the table, right, module from this script, okay? But we're gonna rename it. We're gonna call it um, animals table, okay? And then we're gonna do local animals table. This is, our, this, is our, this is in our regular script, by the way. So make sure you delete everything out of there if you haven't already. But local animals table equals um, game dot workspace. So our game, or no, actually not workspace. My bad. Game dot server storage. Right. Um, server storage. Oh gosh, server storage. Dot module script. Okay. And then you're gonna actually require it. Okay. So I, I forgot to put that, but yeah, do require around that. So actually, I'll retype it. So yeah, local animals table equals require um, game dot server storage server storage dot module script okay so now you're probably wondering okay what the heck does require mean now require basically what it means is that it's saying okay go get this table out of the module script okay that's what it's doing you're getting the table out of the module script which, really, which there should only be one table right but you're getting the table out of the module script so now we basically have this table right named module what in our script is named animals table we have all this table right inside this script except it's not actually in there so basically it helps keep you organized and you can also access some different scripts so like if i had another script i'm sorry i'm talking so fast okay sorry <laughs> if i had another script right like another one that did whatever okay i could also require it in that script too right so then i could do whatever i want here but i can also do the same thing over here and then basically i could have both tables in the same in the same um, script, right? But not in the same script, okay? <laughs> I, that may be a little confusing. I'm sorry if that is, but you got the point, I guess, right? So, yeah. All right, so now we're actually gonna do something with this table. Now we're gonna actually access it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna print the first value. So we're gonna do print animals table, um, and then we're gonna do dot dogs, okay? And then we're gonna print it, and then here we go. Boom, it works. Now, that's really cool in my opinion. I, th I, li I like how you can like access it from that script without even having it actually be in your script. I'm sorry if this was a bit confusing, guys. You're probably wondering, okay, why do we even need to use module scripts? Well, you really don't, like I said, but sometimes you do for certain games or whatever. But yeah, also, you know, maybe you wouldn't always just use it like, for prints. You'd probably use it for an actual value, like, like, like let's say you wanted to keep a module script of how many dogs, like let's say there's pets in your game, right? You want to keep a module script of how many dogs are in your game. So you have five dogs, right? And you have um, two cats. So now you would know how many dogs you have. And then you can also like maybe change your value. Maybe maybe like in your server script, you could do um, like um, if or yeah, if animals table dot dogs is equal to three, then print, yay, you have three dogs right and then eventually once it has three dogs now you would know and now you can make it maybe have like a level up or something so you print you leveled up and then you can obviously you'll have your like variables well, called levels and you can add one to that so you know what i'm saying so that's what basically what it does and i actually want to see if that works i'm pretty sure it should right um okay it didn't all right anyways the point is that's what it does so yeah
Anyways, guys, um, yeah, it was set to five, that's why. All right, so anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. That's the tutorial. Hope you did enjoy it, guys. If you did, like always, smash the like button, okay? I don't really know why, but you really did. You, you should, okay? That that's that's why. All right, anyways, um, also join my Discord server, guys. Make sure to join that. Link is in the description, like always, okay? Discord server, you gotta join it, okay? We're going to be doing events soon, like little game jams where we're trying to make a game as fast as we can. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Like always, if you have, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, also, in the Discord server, you can ask there too. But yeah, that's it. Anyways, guys, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.